In the last two videos, we explained to you about a telescope's aperture and focal length. One more and third important parameter of a telescope is its focal ratio. Same as aperture and focal length, the focal ratio is also always mentioned in the specifications of a telescope. A simple formula for focal ratio is the focal length divided by the aperture of the telescope. If you have a telescope that has an aperture of 150 millimeters and its focal length is 1,500 millimeters, then its focal ratio is 10. It is written like this, F slash 10. So this focal ratio parameter of a telescope completely depends on the first two most important parameters of the telescope. With the help of the focal ratio, you can determine the speed of the telescope. Now, many of you might get confused about what exactly is the speed of the telescope. The speed aspect of a telescope comes from a photography point of view. A telescope is usually known as a fast telescope or a slow telescope. Let's understand this with an example of a camera lens. Let's say you have two identical lenses of similar focal lengths but one lens has a wide aperture and the other lens has a narrow aperture. Now, to collect the same amount of light, a wide aperture lens will take less time than a narrow aperture lens. So the wide aperture lens will be known as a fast lens and the narrow aperture lens will be known as a slow lens. The same principle applies to telescopes. For example, if the focal ratio of a telescope is two, then that is a fast telescope. If the focal ratio of a telescope is 10, then that is a slow telescope. Any telescope which has a focal ratio below 5 is considered a fast telescope, and a telescope which has a focal ratio above 8 is considered a slow telescope. Anything between 5 to 8 is considered for both. We know the formula to calculate the focal ratio. From this formula, you can know that a telescope with a longer focal length will mostly be a slow telescope, and a telescope with a short focal length will mostly be a fast telescope. If you notice, in the focal ratio formula, the aperture is also considered, so aperture also affects the focal ratio. For example, a telescope that has a long focal length and a very big aperture, then its focal ratio might be below 5, so it can also be a fast telescope. This aspect of a fast or slow telescope is very much useful for astrophotography. Capturing the moon and planets is possible with a slow focal ratio. But if you want to capture the images of deep space objects, then you will need a fast focal ratio. The telescope with a fast focal ratio will give you a slightly brighter image as it collects more light in a short time. On the other hand, a telescope with a slow focal ratio will have slightly dimmer images compared to a fast focal ratio telescope. For example, a telescope with a 150 millimeter aperture and a focal ratio of 1,500 millimeters will have a focal ratio of 10. Now, a similar telescope with a 150 millimeter aperture and a focal length of 600 millimeters will have a focal ratio of 4. As both the telescopes have similar apertures and they will collect the same amount of light, then how come fast and slow telescopes will have different brightness? The answer is in the focal length. As the telescopes have different focal lengths, in the short focal length telescope, the light has to travel less and thus it is more concentrated when it hits the eyepiece or camera lens. As you know, more light means brighter images. In the long focal length telescope, the light has to travel more inside the telescope, so the images you will see are slightly dimmer. Also, the slow telescopes will take slightly more time to collect the same amount of light as the fast telescope, so it will have slightly less concentrated light. That's why the images will be slightly dimmer. What if you just want to do stargazing without astrophotography? If you just want to see the moon and planets, then you should prefer a slow focal ratio telescope. It will usually have a longer focal length and a higher magnification. Higher magnification will help you to see the details of the moons and planets. 
Deep space objects are far away. It's difficult to collect a lot of light from these far distant objects for a bright image. So here you need a telescope that can absorb maximum light in a very short time. So if you want to observe deep space objects, then you should prefer a fast focal ratio, as it will collect more light in short time. So you can see those dim deep space objects clearer. If you have a longer focal length telescope, then you can just use the focal reducer to reduce the focal length of your telescope. We've explained this in this video. Make sure you watch it. Now, which one should you buy? Even though the focal ratio is an important parameter, the aperture is the most important parameter of a telescope. It will determine everything you see with the telescope. So if you want to observe the moon and planets, then go for a big aperture telescope with a slow focal ratio, usually above eight. And if you want to observe the deep sky objects, then go for a big aperture telescope with a fast focal ratio, usually below five. If you want to do both, then you can prefer a big aperture telescope with a focal ratio from five to eight. We hope you understood everything about the focal ratio of a telescope, and if you did, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content.